Rami Sipi came at a time when there was a big change in Indian film. You had a, a whole new look of how you could tell stories that had to be taking forward the older stories but having a very modern look and a premise that was very different because actually the 60s was a much more romantic period with Shami Kapoor and uh, different kinds of films. Of course, there was Dilip Kumar, but uh, the romantic films were the dominant films. But with Rame Sipi, and it was a shift in storytelling. Uh, he is very uh, kind of con in control and aware of technique. And a film like Shole is very cinematic, as we were talking about. You could not tell that story in any other form but cinema. And he had a big vision. Shole was a big vision. Now we forget uh, how much detailing went into it. The sound, the picture, the performance. I think he was fantastic at getting performance out of the actors. I don't think any of them have acted as well and effectively. When we think about Abjad Khan and Gabbar Singh, I mean, those are very extraordinary scenes. They are world-class cinema scenes. What was the experience when you first watched Shole as an audience? You see, my work had, was uh, since 81. I was programming the Indian movies on a new channel that had started in England called Channel 4. It was seen as a very avant-garde and a very important shift in television programming. And the boss at the time of Channel 4 was a man called Jeremy Isaacs, Sir Jeremy Isaacs. And he had was shown Shole, and he said, if Indian films are like this, we should have more of them. And so I got a contract to program Indian films on Channel 4. You must remember when we showed, the first Indian film we showed on Channel 4 was Shole. It was on the 26th of December, 1982. I remember very distinctly because that was the week Channel 4 actually started. So it had Shole. And Interestingly, you have to think, in 82, from Shole, which was 75, 1975, was only seven years. Only seven year difference. Now, when you think about Shole, you think of something that happened years and years and decades ago. But when we programmed it in 82, it was only a seven year old film. And in England, there was obviously no YouTube. There were no streaming channels. There were only four channels. There was BBC One, BBC Two, ITV and Channel Four. There were only four channels and they never showed Indian films. Occasionally, BBC would show Satyajit Ray's film, one or two, but not many and no popular films. So to see Shole on a Sunday afternoon at two o'clock was really exciting for the audience. And at that time, Channel 4's top uh, ratings was 2 million and surely got a million. So I think it even surprised the people at Channel 4 who were all white. You know, there were no desis involved. And uh, it is a very impressive film. And everybody just loved the idea that it was there. We got hundreds of letters and phone calls. So, so happy to see this film on the screen, on a, the small screen. So when we think of Shole, we always think about this, you know, it's such a large scale and, and it was made back in 1975. Do you think that uh, we can say that in the, in the 21st century we have a film like that? And if not, why? I think uh, the scale of Shole has not often been repeated. They have been repeated, but they've been repeated more in historical dramas, like Sanjay Leela Vansali would make Baji Rao Mastani, and that had a big scale, large scale film, but a film that was very unusual, unusual characters, uh, not reliant on history, but making new stories, surely it was a new story. There's the Thakur, and then there's these two guys who are the hired hands. Then they are the, the widow, and then the Basanti. You've got very original characters. And uh, so it was surprising to audience. They hadn't met people like this before. And they hadn't met storytelling or action films. Uh, like if you see the train sequence, and you see all those guys, you know, who are chasing the train. And when you first, uh, when uh, Viru and Jay come to the... Ramgar. It's an extraordinary sequence, beautifully cut, beautifully shot and directed. 
truly came as a big surprise and I don't think any film really has surprised people, Indian audiences as much as Shole did in its time.